Hey guys, it's Katie. So I know that my bed is not made and it's not the prettiest background in the world, but it's got good lighting and my daughter is asleep and so I need to take advantage of the time. <laughs> so today I thought that I would do the Nordstrom anniversary sale, like, I don't know, wish list review. Um, so this year I am an ambassador, which means I get to start shopping on August 7th. And so what I did is, um, the, when the preview came out, July 24th, I just started adding things to my wish list on the app. So that way, um, I could have them like stored all in one place. And then, uh, on August 7th, I made an appointment with a stylist to shop. So I'm going in the morning and I'm hoping so I made an appointment at 8.30 in the morning. So that's before the mall actually opens. So I'm hoping that I can get in and out before it gets crazy busy. Um, and I don't know if Nordstrom is going to limit the amount of people that can shop in the store at one time. Uh, I hope that they do actually, just to keep everybody safe. But um, my goal is to get in and out of there. So I'm probably just going to go and try things on one time and then kind of be done with it. I might order some things online after that kind of catch my eye, but the fact that they put the preview out so far in advance, it really gives you a lot of time to like scope out what they have and add things to your wish list and kind of make a curated list. So that way um, you're not wasting a lot of time in the store shopping around in store or, you know, online as well. So. I thought that I would go over like what kind of caught my attention and what I added to my wish list. So the wish list is kind of nice because everything's all in one place and then you can kind of look at what you have on your wish list and then start eliminating things to meet your budget. So I did give myself a budget this year. I'm not going to say what that budget is, but I haven't bought clothes in a really long time. I haven't really bought clothes since I've been able to fit into like my old size things um from before having kennedy especially because you know we've been staying at home all day every day so uh there hasn't been much motivation to like get dressed and wear cute things so <laughs> i'm really excited about this sale so that way i can actually like i don't know put in some effort uh okay so the first thing that i have and I'm not going to get both of these, but I'm going to share both pictures with you. Uh, one of them, well, they're both boots. One of them is by Carl Lagerfeld, and it's a studded Chelsea booty. And I kind of like the rough and toughness of this with the daintiness of the pearls on there and the little studs. Um, so I really like the look of that. And then I also added the Vince Henderson weatherproof Chelsea boot. So I also really like the look of this. I like that it's a little bit more like it's not super feminine um, and I think it'll be really cute with just like black skinny jeans or black leggings in the fall and winter months. Um, let's be real, I live in California so I probably won't be able to really wear these until December but <laughs> I'm not going to get both of those but one or the other. I haven't decided which ones. I do have this on my list just because we are doing distance learning this year for um, who knows how long, but at least in the beginning of the year. So I wanted some like comfy clothes too. This Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic Leopard Cardigan. I think that will probably go really quickly. There was a cardigan like this last year in the sale made by BP that went super quick too. Um, and so since this one's Barefoot Dreams, on top of being leopard, I think it'll probably go pretty quickly. Uh, I plan on just getting like the camel colored one so there's that and then um i did find some things for kennedy too these little hunter boots are so cute uh they're 34.90 they're these like cute little pink leopard hunter boots and i have a pair of hunter boots that are black again living in california we don't get to wear them very often but i thought it would just be fun for her and for 35 bucks i mean they're super cute and they would make for good pictures too. So <laughs> um, that and then uh, I did want to get her a couple jackets, just like nicer jackets in case we go to the snow this winter or anything like that. Um, they have a North Face reversible water repellent heat seeker jacket. 
um, for toddler girls and little girls. So it would probably be kind of big, but um, hopefully something she could kind of grow into. They also have um, a little, I'm trying to find it, a uh, Patagonia Furry Friends fleece hoodie for babies. So this one is super cute. It's just like a white Patagonia with little like ears on the hood. Uh, that's super cute. And then also for her, these, I, she never wears shoes because again, we don't go anywhere. And it, when they're really young, it's better for them not to wear shoes. At least that's what my doctor said or her pediatrician. And so, um, but once she does start walking, then I do obviously want to get her a pair of shoes. These little Adidas Gazelle sneakers are super cute. This like pink suede color um, with Velcro. So you don't have to worry about tying shoes or anything like that. Uh, I think I might get those for her as well for when that time comes. Uh, we also plan on getting the Nuna Rava. So I have the Nuna Pippa car seat for her and she's gonna grow out of that before we know it. So I wanted to get the Nuna Rava. We thought about getting the Nuna Exec, um, but it just seems so much more expensive. And the fact that the Rava is on the Nordstrom anniversary sale is kind of like, okay, let's just get that. Um, because I think this one holds up to, let me check, up to 50 pounds. So, well, up to 50 pounds rear facing, 65 pounds forward facing up to 49 inches. So um, we figure by the time she gets to that weight, um, we'll, we'll deal with it at that point. Um, so we're definitely going to get that. And then the last thing for her is this Tucker and Tate puff sleeve fleece top. And uh, they it comes in two colors. There's like a white with black polka dots and then there's this like pink and leopard um, print, which seems super cute. So I'm excited to get some clothes for her because um, I haven't really been like dressing her up as much because again, we're not going anywhere. So I'm excited to get her some new, some new clothes to uh, dress up in. Okay, um, another boot that I'm interested in getting is this Charles by Charles David Reason over the knee boot. Um, it says narrow calf, so I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I have a narrow calf or not. I have been wanting a pair of over the knee boots for years. Like I've always been eyeing the Stuart Weitzman ones when they go on sale for the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but I've just never pulled the trigger. And the ones that they have on sale this year by Stuart Weitzman, I'm kind of like meh about. I'm not in love with them like I have been with some of the other styles that they've come out with in the past. Um, and these Charles David ones just look, they look nice, but um, I like the heel height on them. And they're obviously more affordable than the Stuart Weitzman ones. So I want to see them in store. Um, so we'll see. I am also interested in definitely a lot of boots. These Vince Camuto um, Arandara booty. It comes in like a snake print color. They look like they're perforated and they're more of like a lower heel, which I'm interested in. I have a pair of these shoes. I think I finally tossed them, but I bought them in a Nordstrom anniversary sale years ago. And I loved those shoes. I was hoping that they would come out with more of these style shoes, just like a lower boot, lower heeled booty. But um, I didn't really see very many of them. But I am interested in the snake print ones uh, just to wear with like an all black outfit. I think it would be cute and kind of chic. I did see some uh, nest oil diffusers and that sort of thing uh, that I do plan on getting because I like having those around the house. Uh, I have one on our mantle right now and then I have one um, like on the stairwell in our home and I do think that they work really well. I like that it's not a lit candle so I don't have to worry about you know Kennedy pulling up on furniture and pulling that down and um or forgetting to blow out the candle before we leave the house something like that um but I do think that it really like smells up a room so I do plan on getting a couple of those. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a new perfume. I don't really need a new perfume to be honest, but uh, I actually was at the mall along, this was when I was still pregnant uh, with Kennedy. So it's been a while. 
and I was at the mall and we had gone, my sister and I, we had gone into Sephora and I had spritzed this Valentino Born in Roma Donna perfume on myself. And then we went to a restaurant and we ate and I had multiple people in the restaurant come up and tell me that I smelled good. So that doesn't really happen very often, to be honest. I don't know what that says about my perfume choices, but um, it made me really interested in purchasing that. It did smell really good, but I guess I just didn't know how good it really smelled. So that is on sale. Um, I prefer when I do like perfume sets that it's like a rollerball and a an actual full-size bottle of perfume. This one is the perfume and then a lotion, which isn't my favorite combination, but. Okay, I'm really interested in this jacket. It's the Caslon Leather Moto Jacket with Removable Hood. I have this thing about leather jackets. I love leather jackets, but I much prefer the inside of the leather jacket to be like a knit material. Like I love when a leather jacket, when it looks like it has a little hoodie underneath it. Um, I just think it kind of gives like this more like casual vibe and that's like my lifestyle these days. I mean, I'm usually wearing leggings, athleisure wear. And so I think that this is just like an edgy, cool, casual vibe jacket. I like that it doesn't look like super fancy or dressed up. Like this isn't a jacket that you would wear over like a super cute dress. Like this is more a jacket that you would wear over like a t-shirt and jeans, if you know what I mean. So, but I really like the look of this jacket. I want to feel it and see what it feels like, but um, the jacket is originally $299 and then it's $178.90 on sale. So, I mean, you know, over a hundred dollars off. So I'm very interested in that jacket. Um, I am interested in this robe. This is the Ugg Caroline Fleece robe. It's just got a cute print. Now, I will say, I love Barefoot Dream stuff. Love it. But I, I'll say that for my robe, it didn't last as long as I would have expected um, because a robe, I don't know, like I feel like it needs to be washed more often. And when you wash Barefoot Dream stuff, it just doesn't have, it doesn't hold that softness that it once had, unless I'm doing something wrong. Like I put it on hand wash cycle and I don't dry it because I don't want it to shrink. I think that's what the directions say. I can't remember. Um, but I just don't feel like when you wash their stuff, it stays as soft as it did originally. So um, because of that, I tossed my Barefoot Dreams one. It was just getting kind of nasty anyways. I had had it for a few years. Um, and then, you know, I wore it a lot when I first had Kennedy and there was like baby spit up on it and stuff like that. This one, I can't really tell what the material is like, but what I do like is that the sleeves seem to come to like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like they seem to be more like tight around your wrist than being like so open. I find that sometimes when sleeves like that on robes are really open, it can just be a recipe for disaster. You know, like you're washing your face and the water's dripping all the way down your arm or you're knocking over things on the counter because your sleeves are like hanging down here. So I'm interested to see what this rug feels like in real life. Um, because if it's soft, I do like the style of it. I'm interested in this Brixton Wesley Wool Fedora. I love Brixton hats. I think they're so cute and I feel like they nail the style every single time. Um, oh, you guys know I love rail shirts. So I do want to get this uh, Rails Hunter plaid shirt in the color Onyx Ash. It's like a bluish gray and black color. Um, and then I always purchase every Nordstrom anniversary sale these a couple of these halogen long sleeve modal blend tees. These are the softest long sleeve shirts ever and they're perfect layering tops because they're thin um, and so they fit under sweaters and other jackets really nicely without adding too much bulk. They're super super soft and they last forever. Um, last year, I think I bought a black, a gray, and an ivory colored one, and they're still in really good condition. This year, um, on my wish list at least, I have this like pinkish color and then a uh, white and black striped one. So I think I have actually a black and white striped one too. So 
they're just great tees to have uh, for layering purposes when it gets colder outside. One thing I was disappointed in the sale this year for was sweaters. I didn't really feel like they had that many sweaters and this is where, like this is the time when I get like the bulk of my sweaters is during the anniversary sale. Um, but this year I was kind of left wanting more in terms of selection. Uh, I did see this Treasure and Bond crew neck pullover, which I think is cute. Um, it'll be cute with like a little side tuck. Uh, it comes in pretty nice colors. I like this rust leather color, but I also like the blue skyway color. It's like a nice light sky blue. And it seems like it will be very soft. Uh, let's see what the material is. 55% cotton, 26% polyester nylon wool spandex it says hand wash dry flat i don't love when sweaters are hand wash only but um i can kind of tell by feeling it if i can put it at least on a hand wash cycle in the washing machine or if i'm actually going to have to like wash it by hand so we'll see um but i did think that that was a cute style and i also like this uh madewell kent cardigan sweater uh, they come out with this every year and put it in the anniversary sale this year, I'm not wild about a lot of the colors, but I did like the dried olive color. I feel like I wear a lot of that color, not be not only because I really enjoy that color, um, I think it looks good with my eye color and my hair color, but also my school, my elementary school's color is like an olive green, forest green color like that. So I feel like I can get away with wearing a lot of like layered school shirts and stuff underneath sweaters that have that color. So uh, I am interested in getting that. It's either that or Leith has one this year, which they always do as well. Uh, the Leith Cozy Long Cardigan. So either one of those two. Um, the Leith one is $39.90 and the Madewell one is $59.90. So I'll kind of have to compare and see like what both of them feel like and see if getting the Leith one is, you know, a better deal in the end. Again, kind of going back to just being, spending a lot of time at home this year, I am never really one to invest in BP pieces. And I don't want to, at the risk of sounding like snooty, I just don't, sometimes I think that the quality just isn't there, especially when you think about, okay, well, the item is still $40, you know, it's like a shirt is $40. Sometimes I'm not so sure that even though it is more affordable than like a $70 sweater, sometimes I don't feel like the BP stuff is worth the investment, the lower investment, if you know what I mean. Um, and sometimes like you find some really good pieces. Like I remember when I used to shop at Forever 21 when I was way younger. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes you'd go to Forever 21 and you'd find a shirt. Like I have a couple shirts. I don't have them anymore, but I have had a couple shirts from Forever 21 that lasted years. But then most of the stuff from Forever 21 would fall apart in the washing machine. So um, I feel like BP is kind of like that. It's like up and down sometimes. Um, but I am interested in these BP jogger pants. They have them in a bunch of cute colors and I would literally just be using them for like doing stuff or hanging out around the house um if I'm well we are doing distance learning this year so I'll be teaching online so I do have to dress professionally um when I am being filmed but I mean if they can't see my from my waist down then I'm gonna be wearing a nice shirt with sweatpants <laughs> so um yeah I don't know I thought that I would get a couple of these are $24.90 originally $39 they have some really cute prints and depending on how soft they are might determine if I end up purchasing or not. Like I need to be able to feel things to be able to see if the quality is worth it or not. Um, they come in a couple cute colors too that I was interested in. My husband has added some things to my wish list as well apparently. So hmm. Like Free People's like big billowy sweaters. Here it is. So it's the Free People Afterglow Mock Neck Top. I have a couple of these. I don't know if this is the same exact sweater um, but, uh, it looks like it. So it is like a, obviously a mock neck and it's very big and billowy. So it's something. 
So it's something that if you're gonna wear not tucked in, then you should probably wear it with like leggings or something. Um, but if you are gonna wear it with jeans or something like that, then you can just do like a little side tuck and it kind of um, pulls you together, kind of gives you more of like a waistline when you when you wear something like that. So uh, it's on sale for $84.90. After the sale, it's gonna be $128. So um, that is pretty much it. I feel like I was talking for a long time, but when I look at my list, I don't feel like I have gone like completely overboard. Um, just because something is on my wish list doesn't mean that I'll necessarily get it. I might go in store and see that it's like not the quality that I had anticipated, or I might see something else that I want to purchase instead. But this is kind of like an idea of what I what I have my eye on for the anniversary sale. So that is all I have for you guys. Let me know if you think that you found something on the Nordstrom anniversary sale preview that I would really like or let me know what is on your wish list. Uh, if you are shopping, if you are not shopping, I totally understand because times are, times are different right now. So um, I totally get it if you're skipping out on it this year, but I am excited and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.